Okay, I wanted to show you. I brought you up here in the woods to an undisclosed location here in Pennsylvania looking for ginseng. I only look for it this time of year through the summer. That way when it's time to dig, all I have to do is go start digging. So that's just an idea, guys. Get out there and start looking. Okay, here's a... Uh, some of the ferns and stuff and actually I see a ginseng plant right from here but I'm at about 1700 to 1725 feet above sea level and as you can see there's maple trees a lot of maples this is towards the north you can either find Chang on the north slopes or on the east slopes. I have found it on some of the south, but not as much as on the north and the east. It likes hardwoods. As you can see, it's shaded in the afternoon. And here's some ferns. And as I walked up here, here is... A nice ginseng plant it's starting to flower looking good now that's a legal plant it has three branches you can see one two three and it has five prongs on all the leaves and that one will bury Another thing you can look for is this here is a small beth root right here. They get bigger. I highly advise you get out and start looking for your ginseng early. Uh, here's another ginseng. As you can see, that's a legal plant. But again, check your local laws and regulation on when to dig, dig your ginseng. It's September 1st here in PF, Pennsylvania. I'm not telling you the elevation is where all of it is because I have found it down to 1,600 feet. But look, it doesn't matter. Oh, here's some more ginseng. Nice. There's another one. And look. Right next to these. Ferns. Oh, that's not ginseng, guys. That's prickle bush. So get your leaves right, and remember, here. Let me show you something. Right here. See how the branches are on these on the ginseng. All your branches will be at the same level where they come out together. That one, see? It's, it's not hard to find your ginseng. All you gotta do is look for the berries in the center. If you're unsure it's not, if it hasn't got the berries, it's probably either too young or it's not ginseng. I love looking under these small trees like this. This is good shade. 
Not that there is any here that I see, but it shaded well. And don't let anybody kid you if you got turkeys in your woods. They're the most destructive and take your ginseng and dig it up quick. Because when they eat it, they digest it. Deer, that's another thing. Follow your deer paths. If your deer eat it, they spread it around. Now there, there's some blue cohosh. Right there. Uh, I seen some more ginseng over here. Yeah, see right here is the culprit's turkey feather. It's one of your worst enemies on ginseng. Now I make most of my living ginseng hunting. And this will be my uh, third year, I believe. The first year I found a pound of ginseng, which I thought was fun and had a lot of fun doing it and made a little money. My last year, I picked 21 pounds green. So that just tells you how much better I'm getting at it. You can see where the turkeys have just hit this terrible. So, all right. There's some of it. So just to let you know. Get out there and look. Climb them mountains. I'm 55 years old. Last year I... I traveled on these mountains seven miles every day searching for ginseng and I'm talking every day rain or shine seven miles don't sound like much to some but you get on some of these side hills they're pretty tough but you got to have the heart and make sure that you Keep it legal and make sure that you ask permission to look and dig it. Most people, 99% of people are good and will let you. So, get a good relationship. Stealing is stealing, so ask permission. Alright, any questions? Let me know. This is another hillbilly know-how. And we'll see you again when it's time to dig. Bye.